Mix 106 Movie Reviews with Willie Waffle. A couple new movies out for you for your 4th of July weekend viewing pleasure. We've got Arnold Schwarzenegger back in another round of Terminator Genesis. And Channing Tatum is in Magic Mike XXL. I think they should have made the writer of the movie work on his screenwriting skills as much as Channing Tatum works on his abs. Are we really <laughs> expecting an Oscar out of Make It Mike, Magic Mike, what? XXL, what? whatever this movie is? No, but I would at least like competence. I would at least like someone trying to pretend like we had a script. I'd like someone to pretend like there's a story that matters. You, you know what the movie is? The movie is just we're a bunch of merry mirth makers traveling the South you know, bringing happiness to brokenhearted ladies everywhere. Will Why it, can't that come to Idaho? It, it it does. It's called the torch, Kate. No, that's women <laughs> dancing, not men dancing. Well, and, and this is the thing that gets me. You know, women act like you know this is the only time they'll ever get a chance to see a man dance. It might be. There, oh, are, there are clubs in your city that no. do this. You can watch the internet. You don't have to waste your time on some vacuous movie. Yeah, but it's Channing Tatum. Or whatever, well, he tanning. Working out. He looks like amazing. <laughs> you have that, to, you have to admit, Willie. After the first movie, you knew there was no way the second movie was going to be anything but what you got. No, I agree. I agree. I mean, the, the, the second movie. Wow, the second movie's really bad, though. Oh, it's so bad. Wait, you, that, that's what you said about the first movie. So does it pick I up know. where it left off? Is the same construction worker kid in the movie? Well, it's three years later. And, and uh, Matthew McConaughey's taken off, and so is the young little pretty boy. Oh. And the rest of the gang is calling Channing Tatum to come back. He, Channing Tatum's been working on his little custom furniture business. You know, he's struggling to make ends meet. He's trying to make a, make a success out of it. But the guys call him back for one last ride. And he says, sure, I'll leave behind my customers, my employees, and my business to go to the big stripper convention with you. This sounds and we can believable. Dance one more time. Oh my gosh, I am hooked. <laughs> now, was Sofia Vergara's fiance Joe, whatever his last name is, Mangiello. Was he in the first one? Yes, he was. He just didn't have that big of a role. Now he's big. He had the biggest role ever. Um, but yeah, his his he he's kind of the co-star of this movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, he looks hot. Well, he, he also has been working out a great, great deal. So you give it? Oh, half a waffle. It just, it's so bad. Put yourself in the be... place of a housewife who hasn't gotten any in 17 months. Is she going to like this movie? She's still going to be like, why do I have to sit through all this other boring stuff that looks like it was put together <laughs> at the last minute? Why does it look like there really was no script? They just made it up as they went along. How come the tone is not clear? Am I supposed to laugh at how stupid these guys are, or is it supposed to be tragic? I'm not really sure. Oh, my God. You just described every guy watching a porn movie. Get to the action. <laughs> all right. Have a waffle for Magic Mike XXL. What else challenges that amazing movie this weekend? Well, that would be Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator Genesis. He looks so old. Well, when his face in the preview comes through that windshield, I'm like, is he 70? He's in his 60s. Oh. I'm I think sure. it's late 60s, too, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're right. So you're pretty close. Wow. And I heard, I heard they explain that in the movie because that's the thing that I asked when I first saw it. It's like, wait a minute, he's a robot. How come a robot ages? And somebody said they explain that in the movie. They do. They explain that because he has real skin, the skin ages. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Well, now at so, least at least it makes it believable for us. So right. I <laughs> noticed... just made more sense in that one sentence than Magic Magic Mike <laughs> did in the entire <laughs> movie. I saw that Danny from Game of Thrones is his co-star. Yes, she is. She is Sarah Connor. With and brown hair. It took me a minute to recognize her. I'm like, how do I know that face? Yeah, and she has like you know she she just has a whole different personality as well. I don't know if I'm going to want to watch that because I'm so into Game of Thrones. I don't want to throw off my perception of her. <laughs> she will always be the Dragon Lady. I cannot take it any other way. Okay, so take it. Are, should we compare it to the original? Should we just start all over? What's the best way to approach this movie? Well, I think that's the problem with the movie. I think the movie is seeking the answer to that question as well because it's just a rehash of everything you already know but jumbled up like a tossed salad. So, you know, it, it, it's all the same characters. It's many of the same plots. 
plots. It's many of the same kind of motivations, except they try to explain to you that every time these morons go back in time, they change stuff. So they kind of reorder the timeline. So what you know happened, maybe happens later. Maybe it happened earlier. Maybe somebody changed it. Maybe somebody you thought was good is bad. Maybe somebody who you thought was bad is good. It's just, it's like, just get to blowing stuff up because that's the best part of the movie. So is this supposed to pick up where Linda Hamilton and the rest left off? Well, it's it's almost like we're redoing the first movie, oh. kind of, because we're sending Kyle Reese back to 1984 to protect Sarah Connor, but when he arrives in 1984, oh, it's not the 1984 it's supposed to be. Sarah Connor explains that things are different now because everybody keeps messing around with the past. So now they have to go ahead and try to stop Skynet, but they have to go into the future. It sounds very confusing. It really kind of is. I gave up trying to follow it because I was like, I'm just happy with the fight scene. That's really what I'm here for. I saw a helicopter or a chopper, I'm sorry, and Arnold gets... Get to the chopper! Yeah, I thought that right there made it Oscar worthy. (laughs) Yeah, you know... (laughs) Not for you. (laughs) Here's the frightening part. Here's the frightening part. Because they've come up with this excuse that we can just redo the same movies over and over and over again, because things change every time we make one of these movies, they're threatening to do another one, I think. Oh, they set it up for another? Well, technically, they're all set up for another now. So maybe, like, Jason Statham will be in the next one, or Vin Diesel, or Dwayne Johnson? they're smarter than that. I like those guys in another movie. One would hope, but this one gets... One and a half waffles. Wow. So here's here's my question for you this week, then. Is Jurassic World going to make it four weeks in a row at number one? I don't one? think so. I don't think so because Terminator Genesis opening weekend is probably going to be pretty big. And Jurassic World's been going for about four weeks now. It would be hard to be number one again. But I've been wrong before. Well, I mean, good grief. They've made over a billion dollars already. I think I think it's time for them to let somebody else be in first. Well, and I, I, frankly, I'd rather see Jurassic World a third or fourth time than see some of these things for the first time. That tells us all we need to know about this week's movie right there. Oh. All right. What do we have next week, then? Oh, oh, I know. Yes. I know. Pick me. I, 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 <laughs> pick me, I, Mr. I'm going to go out on a limb and say whatever, <laughs> anything that comes first this week, minions are going to beat it next week. Oh, God, I, if there's any justice in this world, that is exactly what's going to happen. And my doppelganger, uh, Sandra Bullock, is one of the voices in this movie. Well, you're what? <laughs> she, she's my celebrity lookalike. <laughs> what? Sandra Bullock, she's my doppelganger. No, like she's not. Like your twin out in the world that you wish. <laughs> Isn't it that you wish was Can, your doppelganger? Hand, hand me that mirror behind you. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> All right, Willie, we look forward to talking to you next week. All right, talk to you next week.